We have a live prep profile for you tonight. Special story with the Lima Senior Boys Bowling Team. This is Coach Mike Kirian, Shawnee grad, and helped start the Lima Senior Program. Fourth year now. What was that like, getting the Spartans Bowling Program going? It was good, um, you know, because the youth effort around here is we need a lot more youth involvement. And with the OHSA really picking up bowling at the right time, getting the right kids involved is really a good program for us and the other surrounding schools in the area. Bowling obviously benefited you at Shawnee when it was, it was club and then also moving on to Moorhead State and then coming back to bowl at UNOH. It's been a big part of your life. Yeah, yeah, it's been a big part of my life. Played other sports, but in the end of the, you know, my career, it came down to bowling and came home and finished up my senior year. And after I finished up my senior year, I kind of thought to myself, you know, what can I do to kind of help better the sport? And once I heard the job opening was opening up at Lima Senior, I decided to get my foot in the door. Tell us about the bowling community. We, we know on Saturdays the WHSBC, one of the best conferences in the state. We know Jack Hamill telling us all kinds of great stuff about bowling in the area, but this is such a good area for bowling, Northwest Ohio. Yeah, it's one of the premier sports that's picking up now in the wintertime, and it's getting a lot of involvement, you know, especially with our program and with our young kids and how we educate them. It's more along the lines, not about bowling, but how we can mature as better individuals off the lanes as well as on the lanes at the same time. Big senior class last year graduated, so we got three seniors here tonight we're talking about. Just share, share stories about these guys and what they've meant to the program already. Man, I tell you, losing seven seniors last year, <laughs> and I got seven more this year. You know, this has been the heart of our program with our 14 core guys. And I tell you, as a coach, you can't ask for better kids. You know, these kids work their tails off both in and outside the classroom. And that's one of the primary things that I really am hard on is academics. And, the, you know, I push these guys to their limits and, you know, A's and B's, and we go from there. And you push them athletically, too, with some push-ups and sit-ups during practice. When I think of bowling, I'm not thinking about push-ups. Right. Tell me about the strategy. Bow, to me, bowling's more the l mental aspect. It's more mental than physical to me. And, and at this point in, in the game, it's anybody can have any sort of niche in this game. And it's not where you have to be molded into a certain individual to be successful at this sport. It's what each student is good at the best. And here lately, you know, with us attacking, you know, the, the push-ups and sit-ups is more of a mental thing to get these guys prepared that, you know, making spares is the most important part of the game. Listening to Jack Hamill on Sports Radio 93 won the fan, a story about Jared Smith com comes to mind. He's the heart and soul of your team and has autism and yet does so much for your club. Yes, Jared has been a huge part of us for four years and holds a special, special key in my heart. And without Jared, uh, you know, it, it's hard to tell where this program would ultimately be because he's done so much for us. You know, he's made us better. He's made myself better as a coach. He's made his other classmates, better people. He, he's always encouraging. He's upright. He's, you know, he's kind of like the engine to our program. When he goes, that's when we go. Going to keep him around as a, a coach next year, maybe? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. No question there. Uh, Spartan Invitational, second year for that. Boys and girls finishing uh, runners up this year. What does that mean to have a big tournament like that here in Lima? It, it's good, you know, especially with a lot of the premier guys around the area going to the kickoff classic in Columbus. It, it holds a good spot for the other teams that don't get the invite to go down there to come and compete at a higher level here because we put out a, a tougher lane pattern, tried to get everybody on the same level playing field. And, you know, this is year three. We, you know, we've had very successful turnouts every year. We've maxed out, you know, filled out every three years. And it's really something special. The kids enjoy it and I enjoy running it. Does that help you get ready then for the conference play at WHSBC? Oh yeah, it definitely helps. Uh, there's, there's a lot of marquee spots in there that kind of help out the mentality of it being a tougher pattern, but right. it definitely helps us out on Saturdays. And now looking into the conference slate, how, how, how are you feeling going into it? We're good. I, played a few. Yeah, I feel good. You know, our teams are doing well. Uh, you know, we're moving forward in the right direction. You know, we're making steps and progress every practice. All right, Coach Kieran, thanks for all you're doing for bowling here. And thanks Appreciate for joining it. us tonight. Now I get to go over this way to talk to the guys, three of the seniors here joining us tonight, Tyron Mathis, to my left, Jared Smith in the middle, and Eli Savage. Do you guys wear the bow ties to your bowling match? He's got the bow tie. You guys are looking sharp. Do you have to dress up uh, the weekend, weekday before bowling? No, not really. We just just, just, just make it look normal. good tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Coach talked about the 14 guys that were the key, the seven seniors last year, seven this year. Just uh, kind of talk about what it's been like to build this program at Lima Senior. It's been fun going through. It was hard to lose a seven senior, especially when 
I was on varsity last year, so I knew the seven. And we had a good time, did good bowling. It was good because last year with all spot and invitation, we got first place. So losing seven and still getting second place to me is a good thing. And I can tell that our program is still staying strong and we're going to be t number one. What did you learn from those guys last year that you're trying to employ as a leader now, now that you're the senior? Uh, you can't do bad. When you do bad, make sure you stay positive because when you get down, your teammates will also get down and it ruins everyone's game there for the day. So to always stay positive and uh, keep your head in the game. That's awesome. Jarrett, what does bowling mean to you? Coach talked about how you're the heart and soul of this team. What does bowling mean to you? Well, it's something I do the very best in it. And I also, it allows me to take my time in it. Also, I like to cheer on our team and give them positive motivation sometimes and believing in them and hope they believe in themselves. That's awesome. When did you start bowling? Uh, probably a few years back in my elementary school days, I think. Okay. Was it something you loved right away? Well, yeah, basically. Basically, it, I just picked it since it seemed interesting. Like, I got bored and I said, hey, I saw bowling as an interest in, like, I just saw a paper that said try out for bowling, and I did. So I began to do Wednesday weeks for that, for that elementary school I did. Then a few years later, I've been doing Saturday leagues there at Westgate. Okay. How excited were you when you heard Lima Senior was going to have a bowling team? Pretty good. I just like to bowl a lot. As long as I get to bowl, I get to bowl. Basically, I, well, basically it was good that I was able to bowl in, Lima, in the high school. No question. Eli, how about you? When did you start bowling? I started bowling about, it was a long time ago. I went to uh, after school bowlings for elementary. Okay. I never really picked up on the Saturday bowlings, but from there I bowled. And then once I heard Lima Senior had a bowling team, I had to get on the team. Was there a lot of competition that first year trying to get spots? No, it was when I joined, it was about the first year that bowling was introduced to Lima Senior. So okay. there wasn't really many people going to really bowl. Gotcha. What's the season been like for you so far? It's, it's been something. We've had some <laughs> challenges, but you know, everyone's Everyone's getting used to it. Which problem is we got new kids coming in and okay. new teammates to get used to. Is that hard going from being a ju junior where there's a lot of seniors to now being one of the seniors? Yeah, it's kind of hard because you got to show a little bit more leadership than you did ha last year. I know 20th Century Lanes hosts the Invitational, a home place for you. Just what does that mean for how they help high school bowling? I mean, they give a lot of opportunity. They give a lot of other teams the chance to bowl at their alleys. So they got a bunch of competitions there too. It's pretty nice. What are you excited about for the rest of the season? I just want to see how far we can go. We went pretty far last year. I want to see how far we can go this time. Does Jarrett get you pretty pumped up? He says yeah. he likes to encourage his teammates. What's he do? Tell Every him. game you can see Jarrett, he's always saying, getting, he's always telling us to get pumped. It's, it's always working, too. Everyone's always yelling when he's, when he's pumped. You can't wait till tomorrow, Ken. You're not going to sleep tonight. <laughs> That's, it's, it's hard to say sometimes. <laughs> I just go with the flow. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. What are you most excited about the rest of the year? Is there something you're looking forward to or just, just being out there? I just like being out there. I just like to go with the flow and see what happens next. I am basically got to take this time, basically. Basically, I just wait and see what happens. You going to help coach next year when you're, when you're graduating like coach would like? <laughs> I, don't, I don't really know yet. Yeah, you got some time. Yeah, I don't right, really know yet. Good luck to you guys. Uh, thanks so much for joining us tonight, and uh, best luck the rest of the season. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah, well, I'm a senior boys bowling team joining us tonight. They got WOHSBC play tomorrow. When we return.